Hello, hello, it's Wendy over at Ouija Arts in Holly, PA, 508 Keystone Street, also OuijaArts.com. And I'm gonna wait for a couple people to pop on. Well, actually I'm gonna pull up my um, Facebook page so I can catch any comments that might come through. And if you're watching this on replay at some point, please let me know. Um, just do like replay, hashtag replay. I try to, um, I don't even know what I'm doing here. I try to see comments while I'm doing this live, but it doesn't always work. So let's go. Oh, I don't want to hear my sign. Okay. All right. So today on our uh, live, which I have not done one in months, and I apologize. Um, it was a little hard to get focused when I was at home before I reopened the store. And then we had a whole month of moving in. Then I was open, and then I had to travel for two weeks. Um, my youngest graduated uh, her college with an illustration associates in illustration and then I had to go to Maine for a master class that I had booked way back in November so May although it was a great month in the new store thank you so much everybody but it was also a very crazy month so this is my first time really getting back into um, doing some lives and they'll be every Thursday 10 a.m. We have, while I'm waiting, seeing if just a couple people pop on. If not, I'll just keep going. Um, Wednesdays, we have drop-in. If you're local in Holly, Honesdale, Narrowsburg, Milford, uh, three hour, up to three hours crafting, you can bring your own. You can um, grab a kit that I'll have here. Um, you can learn to paint. You just have to go to WeJoArts.com events, or you can just check my pinned posts because they're all up there. So, we'll have classes coming up soon. We have a wonderful person coming in as an instructor. She has given me two of her classes, and we're going to be discussing that later on today to sit, figure out what all we need. So, that's kind of that. And as of right now, I'm not seeing anybody, so I'm just going to go ahead and hop to work. Um, I am in a private group for CC Restyled, uh, her freestyling group. I have no clue when it opens up again, but keep an eye on her page for that. And um, she sort of tricked us. Just, just saying. She sort of tricked us. She asked us what our least favorite colors were. And then um, we found out after why. So my least favorite colors to paint with are light browns. Uh, not any brown, because I've used espresso many times from Paint Couture, and I love that color. But light browns, unless it's being done as detail, not so much. Not a fan of light browns. I do not like doing bright oranges. I've done them before. I've done one, and it used to sit in my store in Homesdale, and it's now in my barn because I can't stand looking at it. And pinks. And I've done pinks before for customs, but not a fan. So, <clears throat> we found out the reason why we need to give her our least favorite colors um, is that she challenged us to use them. So nice, so kind, so wonderful. Actually, it's a good challenge. So I am using a couple of colors that I have not really used before except for maybe once or twice. I'm doing a base in brown. This is my paint display. Um, this was done in Grounded by Paint Couture. Some people really like it. I'm Okay with it as details. I've used it in details, but uh, whole piece problems. I am going to be using, let's see, what else? <clears throat> I got three different colors here. I've got Vera at the Ballet. Such a pretty pink. Um, it is, it's pretty pink. I have Firelight. That's Firelight, that's an orange. And then I have Caribbean Coral, another lovely orange. And then I have um, a couple of other things I'm hoping to work with. I've already applied some of the Hocus Pocus transfers. If you don't know, I am a, now a retailer directly with Hocus Pocus. A lot of you know I carried these years ago. Um, stuff happens and I let them go. I am now able to buy directly from the company, so I do bring them in from South Africa. They have some pretty cool transfers. They're more like a watercolor-ish type of thing. I'll pull some of the tubes later, but I grabbed their petite decor transfers. This one's Welcome to My Village, and it has three different sheets in it, but they're smaller, and I don't know if I'm getting these even on screen. Um, they're smaller, 
They just have, they're just, the sheets are about this big. So they're great for jewelry boxes, small crafts, whatever. But they're also good to kind of spread, bleh, space out. So I used the bicycle that was on it. I don't know if you can see because there might be a glare. I used the bicycle and one of the little um, doors because I love doors. But it has peach. It has, or it has orange. It has pinks. And oddly enough, it has browns, but it's a dark brown. So I'm just going to get to work. Again, if you do pop in, let me know. I'm not seeing comments, I don't think, today. So, eh. it will be what it will be. All right, so today I'm going to use um, the three colors. And I'm going to start down here at the bottom without getting it, hopefully, on the floor. I mean, I can scrape it up. It's like an almost like a linoleum floor. There we go. And I'm going to kind of work up. We're going to do some blending, um, maybe. We all know how I work with blending. Sometimes it's good and sometimes it's not. So before I do that though, I'm also gonna work with a little bit of foil. I used to retail at Artistic Paint Studio Foil. She has wonderful foil, check her out. I don't anymore. These will be available in the Wednesday Crafting. She also has some absolutely fantastic um, adhesive, like glue stuff. And before I start blending, I may, end, I, I may end up regretting this, but before I start blending, I'm just going to go ahead and do some adhesive on here because there's going to be some gold foil. So I want to do that first. No, I don't want to do that first. No, I don't think I want to do that first. We might do that last, depending. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. We're going to put the paint on the plates. It's been a while since I've done lives and it's like, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I think I have everything though. So here's the paint. I have to stir it up. This one's been on my shelf for a while. Sometimes you get these little skins. They're fine. Just throw them away. I have my paint pants on. I'm allowed to wipe it and use it as an apron. That's all I'm saying. You can shake your paint. Sometimes they come, they separate a little bit if they've been, I've already spilt it on the floor. Um, you can separate, they separate a little bit sometimes if they've been on the shelf for a little bit. Like they said pink is not one of my more popular colors. I don't use it that often myself. So there's that. So I'm just going to mix it up. I should have done this before I started. You want to watch me mix? I'll just push this down a little bit. There we go. Always put paper towels underneath your paint. Now I don't think I'm gonna do like a regular traditional blend where you just kind of go back and forth and blend the colors together. I'm gonna to do a mushy blend. I've done it before. Um, it's a little bit easier for me with Paint Couture, but you never know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll, maybe I'll regular blend. Who knows? I really should have done this beforehand. So what'd you do on your life? Now we're with mixing paint. Okay, now this is my call. All right, so we're going to put a little bit of this on my plate. I'm just going to flop it down. It's fine. Set this off to the side. Look at that pretty pink. Pretty, pretty. I don't know if you can see. I don't want to tip it too much. I'll spill it even more. All right, I'm going to put that off to the side. And I'm going to grab some Caribbean. Hey, Charlie, how are you? Yeah, I'm looking forward to watching this too. I'm going to go ahead and bet it's going to be a hot mess just because. Okay, I need to get a little bit more paper towel down because we all know I'm a slob. Um, just put that in there. Got another stir stick. This one's not as bad, so we're going to stir this up. This one's the Caribbean Coral. I'm really hoping this turns out decent because, you know, like I usually do, slap that on the plate. Um, what I usually do is not pick anything little ever when it's like, okay, do this. I'm like, okay. And then I pick the biggest thing and the thing that's going to stay in my store the longest. Good to see you again too, Charlie. You know, it's, it's going to never leave my store, I don't think. So, Yeah. I'm really good with picking things that I probably shouldn't be picking. Um, should have done on a canvas or something. 
Because I'll have to look at this every day, so it better look good. All right, so now we're going to flap that down. So we got all three colors on here. Minimal on the floor, so far so good. I'm going to take this brush, which is my smashing brush. I've done this, like I said, lots of times. So I have this brush available to me, and I have this in case, this is just an old brush, just in case I want to, I don't know, do something. Uh, a couple brushes over here. So we're gonna start down here, and I'm just gonna take some of the orange and kind of get it in there. And I'm not gonna worry about if I mix the two oranges together, but I do kind of wanna keep my pink a little separate. I wonder how it would look if I did try to blend it. Let me see. Oh, crap. I didn't say that. Okay. So the normal blending is like this, where you just kind of do this. But it's like, A, this isn't my normal blending brush, and B, it's kind of smashing the colors together. So I don't like that. So we're going to take some more of this pink. And I'm just going to kind of stick it on there. I'm going to take my smooshing brush. Good morning, Sarah. And I'm just going to kind of pull that pink down. And those who've seen me do this before, you know, I always say make sure you turn your brush around a little bit because otherwise you're going to end up, I want to keep that a little pinker. You're going to end up with um, some major, oh, Sarah, you threw me off when I said hi to you. Um, oh, you may end up with like a really set pattern and you don't want that. So I'm just going to smash, take this off just a little bit. And I'm actually going to use a little bit of this um, Mad Dascar, or grounded, sorry, it was grounded, Mad Dascar is up on the shelf still. All right. I'm going to take a little bit of this grounded, because that is some bright orange going on there. The darker orange, is it, it is really pretty. It's just not something I normally work with. I normally work with the darker colors. So this is kind of like different for me, because I, I do usually do darker colors. And to bring these brighter colors in is like, ah. So I'm just going to kind of tone it down just a little bit. Get a little bit more I think this this red, this one. This nice bright orange. Beautiful orange. Beautiful orange. <clears throat> Oh my gosh, guys, this is hard. I'm just telling you right now, this is really hard because it's it's really bright. I want to pull a little bit of the pink over here. And pull some of that down. I can just see it now already. Actually, it's not because after I'm going to connect these two together just so that way they're not two little pink blobs. It's not really going to be a hot mess. I just feel that way because it's not colors I usually use. But here's the thing. Once I'm done with this next week, I'll go in and do some cleaning up of it. And I just took that pink away. Oh, can I put some more pink in there? This one's gonna get really messy. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna use a little bit more of this really bright orange up here. You know, in hindsight, maybe I should have just used bright orange as the base, but that's okay. And I'm gonna pull a little bit of this nice bright orangey, whatever color this is. 
I'm going to add a little bit more pink. I have my painting pants on today, so I'm allowed totally to wreck them. Just saying. I'm going to put my pink on a different plate because my oranges are really starting to overwhelm the pink on the pink plates or on the main plate. So go a little bit there. This sort of technique would look really pretty with blues too, I'm just saying. The bright orange, the really, really bright one is um, the is Caribbean, Caribbean coral. That's this one. That's the really bright one. The one that's more like a like a, an orange, slightly toned down with a piece of hair in it. Um, this one is Firelight. This is the one I've used before. So I think you're looking at Caribbean Coral as like your really bright one that you like. It is really bright. It is very pretty. And this may take a couple layers, like some of these layers I might do off um, camera. I gotta kind of fix that a little bit. All right. So this one is the coral. That's the really bright, bright one. And then this one is the firelight. And then I'm going to throw a whole bunch of pink in here. And we probably won't get to the foils today, I don't think. because if I don't, then it seems like I lose some of the um, pink into like the, the, yeah, the oranges kind of suck up that, uh, um, the oranges kind of suck up that pink, which I mean, I'm sure there's like a logical explanation for it, but I don't know what it would be. So we'll do the foils next week because I'm only going to work on this on the lines. I don't think I can, let me just kind of pat this down because that's driving me nuts. I'm going to see if I can get over into this section a little bit. You have no idea how grateful I am to see you do this this morning. The firelight is for sure the color I was looking for. And thanks to you, you solved. Oh, you are so welcome, Charlie. I'm glad I solved something. Because you know this could have went um, multiple ways. This could have been really good. This still can go really good, or it can go really, uh-oh. Now, I'm not going to add any of the firelight into this one. I'm just going to go ahead and pull some browns into it. And kind of smash that together a little bit. And then grab a little bit more of the pink and bring the pink down that way. And just kind of pat it together just to give it a little bit more color. Um, pull a little bit of, I think, the firelight up in here. That's a little bit of firelight and the coral mixed together. Pink. 
What project are you working on, Charlie? Like, what are you doing that? If I ever go missing, just have him go here, just so you know. Absolutely, you can um, water down the brown and do like a little bit of a whitewash over it. Don't use a ton. Of, well, okay. Well, you can you can glaze it if you wanted to, but if you already have the brown, you can water it down and use it like a whitewash, um, like you would a whitewash. Just make sure your firelight is dry for at least 24 hours because remember it's acrylic, so it dries top down. Um, when you wipe, when you do the wash with it, I would water it down in a big mason jar or something, wash it on and do a kind of white back. You may have to do two layers doing it that way, but that just makes sure that, you know, it's not like immediately adhering because this stuff does dry pretty fast or it appears to dry pretty fast. Let me put it that way. So I wish I could post a pic of it. It's between, it's been sitting here in three or three months and you just, Solved the problem. Yay, glad I solved the color problem. But um, take a picture when you're done. I would love to see it. Now I'm just kind of going back into the bottom here and just tapping out some really harsh colors because there's some pretty harsh things going on down here. So I'm going to go... I always end up with these slant things. <clears throat> oh my gosh, Charlie. After you do the, before you do the wash, if you do the crackle, oh, it's the two part crackle from Paint Couture. You put the um, part one, whatever it's called on. I'm looking at my thing and you're up here. I put the part one on first. Um, <clears throat> let it sit, sit overnight, which is what I usually do. And then you put the part two on, let that dry. And then when you do the wash, do it over that. And then you wipe off. When you wipe off, that wash will sit into the cracks and give it like that nice antique look kind of like thing. Oh, that would be amazing. Or you could do the crackle later and have a glaze over it. Um, I'll PM me, Charlie, because I don't have them on my webpage. But I'll get your address and I'll get them shipped out to you and then just invoice you. Um, and that'll work. Yeah, just send me a PM. I can't PM you directly myself because Facebook doesn't let me contact customers unless they've already sent me a PM, which is really weird, but it's just how Facebook rolls. Okay, guys, I'm 52 years old. I'm on the floor. I have to get up off the floor. <sighs> That's okay. I still get it up to you. That's no problem. We'll just figure out shipping. Uh, hold on. This is going to be a minute. Oh, I did it. I did it. Okay. I'm going to push this back just a little bit so you can see a little bit more. Try to fix that. There we go. Mm. There may, I, I can even check to see if there's a distributor or anybody that up in Canada, because I don't remember if Pink Couture is up in there or not, because that might be a little bit better for you. Cost-wise, too, with the conversion and all that other stuff. I'll find out from you. It's not that hard to figure out. Hopefully. Okay. We're going to keep moving. Drip some paint. I'm going to put that on. I'm going to grab some of the Caribbean coral. Slap that in there. Grab my smasher brush, get my head out of your way. Get a little smashing doing in here. I'm gonna throw some pink in there. that off a little bit. The smaller brush, the smasher, they're both, the two small ones are the um, Pink Couture Angle brushes. 
I've just been using this one for so long that it gets like yucky that then actually no I think that well it is it no this might be actually one of my old Dixie Belle brushes I can't tell I have since covered the name with paint this one's paint couture I'm not sure what this one is to be honest with you I'm gonna say that is probably an old Dixie Belle mini angle the one that that one I'm using that's really good for um chalk type paint which I don't sell anymore and then the paint couture angled one is um the one that they made for their acrylic paints which I fought anybody who's been watching me for a while you know I fought that for years when they first I'm like it doesn't matter the brush well guess what yes it does brushes really do um, am I using the right one yes um brushes really do matter when your company's form like come up with a brush for either a specific reason. I'm just gonna bring this around here. When they come up with a brush for with a specific reason, um, it's because they've tested it. So it would behoove you. <laughs> Sorry, I just had a sentence. It would behoove you to just go ahead and use whatever brush they came up with for whatever, because it really does make a difference. I kind of sad to say that I was wrong. I was wrong. Um, let's see. Ooh, yeah. The exchange, the border tax shipping. Oh yeah. I can see how that would be like, and everything has to go like when we ship paints, um, Everything is supposed to go via um, ground shipment, whether it's FedEx, UPS, um, the Postal Service, um, the big brown truck. It's all supposed to go through ground, whether it's water-based paint or not. It doesn't matter. It's, it's supposed to go through ground. So, yeah, I can see where that would be an issue. Okay. I want to add some greens. I don't even know what time it is. Do you know what time it is? How much time do I have left? I'm supposed to open this store at 11 o'clock. Let's see. Oh, it's only 10.30. Hold on, let me grab a stencil that I did not grab. Because I do not think we're going to get to... Um, that thing. The leaf, the... Whatever you want to call those things. What is that stuff? Foils. We'll probably do that next week. All right, so I'm just going to sink my chair down. Oh, wow. 74 cents to our dollar. I didn't. So for every, every $4, you have to add like another dollar. Did I do my bath right on that? I don't know. And I keep talking to you, Charlie, like you're in my laptop. <laughs> Like, why would I put my face to the camera? Okay, so now I'm going to use, I, you guys know, know I normally use crust. It's been a long time, I get it. But I usually use Paint Couture's crust. And I am going to use their embossing. The difference between the two, crust is that nice grainy, grungy look that I love. Their embossing is more of the smooth icing on the cake look. It comes, it gives you just a nice, clean, clean look to it. Now, I love Ray stencils. Not everybody does. I love Ray stencils. I prefer the crust because I do mostly grungy stuff. Um, but I am going to use this embossing. And I'm actually going to do, if it works. A color fade. I don't know if this is going to work, guys. I really don't. So I'm going to separate this out into a few different piles, which I should have just should have just made different piles to begin with. So I'm just going to grab that, pretend that never happened. Okay. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to have four colors. I'm going to have both oranges, the pink, and the brown. 
because I need to figure out how to tie in tie in this to this. I can do this, I think. All right, I'm just gonna grab a couple of these sticks and I'm going to take, oh, I'm just gonna tell you off camera, like this is gonna be off camera. I'm gonna take a little bit of the pink that I already have out and I'm gonna put it on top of the embossing for the one pile. I'm gonna do the same thing with brown. I'm just using whatever's on my plate because I don't want to keep wasting paint. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the Caribbean coral. And I'm going to do the same thing for the firelight. And then I'll lift the plate up. Okay, so I have my three different colors, and I'm just going to mix it into the embossing. You don't want too much of the color because you don't want to make your embossing uh, medium too thin. It still needs to stay thick in order to make the, the magic happen of being able to pull it through your stencils. I, there it is. Um, the shipping isn't that bad. It's the duty they hit us with when it. Yeah, you know what though? I wonder if there's, so I know the U.S. has a trade agreements with some countries where now you don't have to pay duties if it's under a certain amount. So I'm going to look into that with you too. I don't, I don't know if it's, if Canada, we have one with Canada or not. I know we have one with um, some of the European countries. I know South Africa. Is that a European country? I don't do geography. If anybody who's ridden in the car with me knows I don't do geography. Um, I wonder if we have the same thing with Canada now. I don't even know when these happened or anything, but there is some agreements because I didn't have to pay a, an import fee for um, the transfers when I brought them in. And I brought them in direct this time. I'm not... That's the wrong distributors on that one. That's all I'm saying about that. Okay, so now I have all three of these mixed up. Um, you can use all sorts of different mediums. I sell the paint couture, so I use the embossing sometimes. Crust mostly. Crust is like sandy. I don't have any open here, and I don't have any here. That's part of my problem, guys. My stuff is all over the place. It's, it's here. It's at home. It's packed up. It's not packed up. All right. Now a smart person, I'm just saying, a smart person would go ahead and tape this down. I don't have any tape here. <laughs> Not happening. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of, what if this tape would work? This tape might work. Because it sure would be easier if I could tape it. Not that my tape ever holds very well. Because it's been taped up so many times. This is one of my, I don't know where I got this stencil. I honestly don't. Um, it could have been one of the old Dixie Bell stencils. It's kind of thin, so it might be. It could be just a stencil I picked up someplace. It's one of my favorite stencils, though. I don't know why. Yeah, that's not gonna hold. All right, I'm just gonna hold it with my hand. I'm gonna move this out of my way, though, before I step on it. Hold on. Last thing I need is to be pulling this all through. You can use anything you want to pull your stencils. I have an old scraper here. Um, so I'm just going to use that. I am going to grab a little bit of the brown. And I'm just going to pull through first. Now when I do this, some people are very careful. I am not. Just so you know. I am not the most delicate of anything I do. I'm not a delicate flower. Um, I just kind of pull. And this is a really old stencil. And I'm just following the line down on the angle. <clears throat> uh, 
I will most likely glaze this after all anyway. Once it's done, I'll hit it with some glaze because I like glaze. To pull it down into the piece, I'm going to grab just various colors. I'm going to get my hand out of the way. And I'm just going to hit it kind of randomly. And I'm going to hope this works. That was the creamy coral, or that was the firelight. Those are the darkest colors, so I put them down first. This is the Caribbean Coral. So I think I put those down first. I'm going to pull some up here too. Actually, I don't think I used the Firelight. No, I didn't. So I'm just going to go over it with some Firelight. Every time you go over it, you cover kind of whatever's underneath it, or you end up doing almost like a blend. And then I'm going to hit it with some random pink. Smooth it out a little bit. And we shall reveal. It's either going to be really awesome or it's not. Actually, that is pretty stinking cool. I don't know if you guys can see the various colors in there. I'll get better pictures. So technically, if you are a professional, I've never claimed to be, you wait for that to dry, and then you do the same thing, but I'm not going to wait for it to dry because I don't have the patience. So I'm going to pull, I might have to kind of twist this around a little bit because my brown is a little low. And I can't take this off now. Now we sort of have like this little thing going down, but I want to bring it up just a little bit because it just kind of like mm, stops, but I need to mix something first. <sighs> so now I got to figure out where to put this. So I'll just put it right here. I just need to mix a little bit more of the brown because I'm losing my brown and I have to keep my brown, whether I want to keep my brown or not. It's not an option at this point. I think it's so silly that we get hit with like those shipping taxes. Like it should be personal use. It's personal use. Even if you like need pieces to flip, whatever. You shouldn't be hit with taxes. That's silly. When it comes to importing and exporting things. I mean, I get it. I do. Just You guys couldn't see, but I'm holding my thing with my foot at this point. Okay. I'm just going to mix a little bit more. And this is probably as far as we're going to get today because I really do have to open the store. I have to make a few phone calls. Um, do a few random things. I'm going to be smart this time and I'm going to take my stickers and my sticks out of my mix because that was really messing me up. Okay. And yes, if you're local, you're catching this on replay, um, you can come down and I can show this to you. I will show you anything, anytime. It's just if you want to do an actual craft, um, Wednesday crafting is your best time to do that. All right. So I'm going to put this back up and I'm just going to kind of bring this up randomly just a little bit just to make it make a little bit more sense because right now it's just kind of, it, it had a stop line and I don't like stop lines. So I'm going in with that base of brown first. I'm going to go in with, this is a little bit lighter orange now, just because I didn't put any extra paint in it when I did the mix. A little bit more of the coral. There's a nail right there. I'm going to go in with a little bit more pink. 
kind of random heads here and there. Take that off. That was a hot mess, but that's okay. If you overlap with this, the way I do things, it's, it's okay. If you overlap a little bit, trust me, it'll come out in the end. And then I'm just going to, this is getting really messy too. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing over here. And just kind of blend that together. Sometimes you really do have to trust the process, especially if you're trying to do um, paint on your boots like I just did. Put a little bit more pink in there. I was so worried that you wouldn't see the pink that I'm losing the browns. Okay. So it may look a little bit messy, but trust me when it dries and I'm able to sand it off a little bit, I'll go back over it. Um, we'll do a couple of things next week. This is like a real mess. Um, we'll go over, we'll finish it up maybe next week. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because we're going to need to tie in the transfers that are up here into this. Um, and this will be one of the first things you see when you come in the paint room, a.k.a. craft room. So it better look good. Hmm. Um, I will let you guys get going. I am going to go ahead and clean up before I open the store and clean my stencil. And I will see you guys next Thursday. Um, 10 a.m. This is where I'm going to be most like unless something major happens for those locals Saturday I am closed because Heather's son is graduating high school and After that I have nothing nothing. Please knock on wood Send your best vibes. I have nothing until August that will um, get me to close unless we have a major snowstorm which Summer I'm gonna say we're not gonna have one and now we probably will so I will see you guys next Thursday. Thank you so much for watching. All of you hitting replay. I appreciate it. If you need um, anything, reach out to me on PM. Not everything is up on WeJoArts.com yet. I'm working on it. it. Takes me a little bit. All right. I have Charlie, make sure you PM me and I will figure everything out for you to get this stuff up to Canada for you. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. Bye.